Where did the portal lead? It led to a far distant land. Far from Baldur's Gate. Far from the Sunset Mountains. Far from the Marsh of Chalimber. And far from safety. But that is a tale for another time. Oh man. Where are we? This land's very cold. We have no weapons. And where's Guinevar? We gotta find them. We gotta find our swords. What happened to this guy? Uh, it doesn't look like he'll be needing this anymore. Ah, that's much better. But still, we must find Guinevar. Our long lost companion. And our swords. We have this feeble mace. Where are we? Oh, Guinevar? Is that you? Come here, girl. Uh-oh. She doesn't seem friendly. I don't think that's her. We don't have anything really to fight her but this feeble hammer. No magic either. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Skyrim. We're playing as Dritz de Orden from the Baldur's Gate universe and the Dungeons and Dragons universe. We're going to be playing. We have to get his companion, Guinevar, back, as well as his swords and re-explore some of the magical abilities that he has. This is a mod pack called Living Skyrim 4 that we're playing today. It's available on the Wabajack installer. It's a cool little one-click, basically, installation process it does take a little while but it is very straightforward now a little backstory on dritz he's a drow ranger which is kind of like a dark ranger in a sense uh he has a lot of agile abilities a lot of reflex type abilities he's not like a big berserker he's more swift and subtle with his attacks he also has different magical capabilities as well as oh there's a sword nice as well as a mystical cat uh, panther that he has named guinevere uh, we're gonna have to find her and reunite with her so we can slay the beasts who put us here. Um, we also have to relearn some of our magic capabilities and see what other cool tricks that Dritz has up his sleeve. First we're gonna throw some of these weapons on here. Now the only thing we have currently is a shadow of Guinevere here. Just a temporal spell that I can sort of get her figure here but it's not quite her all the way. This is just one of her servants. So we're going to have to find her, reunite, and then we can do some revenge. And figure out how we got here and where to go from there. Um, as well as that, we have tons of mods. There's about 1,100 in this mod pack. So it's definitely going to be a little bit different than you're used to. Um, but it's going to be fun nonetheless. So yeah, we'll just get started here. We just picked up some of these swords from this keep here. Um, we have a mod that gives us a different alternative start, basically. Um, the realm of Lorcon. So we didn't spawn here, but we did come here to get the expiration. Uh, you get XP based off of adventuring, quests, and slaying. So it's not just leveling up your blacksmith to get to 100. As well as uh, his swords. He used two swords. They are magical swords. One is called Twinkle, and the other is Icing Death. So we're going to be working on enchanting and smithing to get those all decked out. And uh, see how the build is. See if it's fun. See if it's viable. And... Uh, Definitely want to get his tiger, his panther companion in here. Um, I think there is a spot over here. We have a mod for that. I think it's Loki the panther. So we'll have to go find yeah, a little bit of the backstory here. Is uh, Dritz is uh, leaving Baldur's Gate after taking down the uh, tower leader. Oh, there's a hunter here. Uh, takes a portal to get out of there as it's blowing up to pieces. And he has arrived here in Skyrim. He has to figure out how he got here and how to survive and uh, find out why he's been brought here. Gritz looked far and wide for his long lost pal. He almost gave up till he heard some howls. Howls that sounded like she needed help. Must go on, he thought. He sprinted across the lands, down treacherous mountains, into the waters below. Riding the frigid waves of the rapids, he had a feeling he was getting closer. Whoa. What was that? Some kind of giant rat? 
He was ambushed by a group of bandits. It looked like they had no skin. Skeletal fighters. He would retreat to live another day. Not with these makeshift weapons. These pokers he has. He needs the claws of a beast and the swords of a hero. Even a few skeletal ambushers, the treacherous storm would not stop him from finding his long lost pal. Headed through the forest, he heard a usual but familiar sound up ahead. How to get up there, he thought. Maybe he can scale the mountain. And finally, he's found her. Guinevere. It's you. It's really you. She was so happy to see him. Now, it's time to take back what's ours. He looked for those skeletal men that ambushed him. And he was ready to take them on. They were tough, especially with these puny weapons for mere mortals. And here comes the claws of the beast to save once again. Oh, their weapons are strong. His armor is futile. No, no match for the likes of a panther. Finishing blow, taking out these marauders. Thanks, buddy. Missed you. Let's see if they got anything useful. Ancient Nord Greg Sword. Never heard of that before. Let's check the others. Well, now we have my faithful companion. But we need to get rid of these pot stickers. We're not doing too much. We need to learn from the blacksmith so we can craft our weapons of destruction. As Dritz ventured onward, he heard some strange but familiar noises. Ah, it's a giant. Let's take him out. Oh, wow. These are mere mortals. They've done it by themselves. Hi, guys. You look strong. Come to your basker. Thinking I need to train some more. Everyone talks to me like they have no idea who All I right. am. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vasker. A lot on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us. We don't just take in any milk the drinker. Milk drinker. In. Pluck what? a cod like if you think you have How what dare they insult me? In any milk drinker who stumbles in. I could have killed that Pluck giant tenfold. Like you have what it takes to be a huh. Puny whelps. As Dritz sought shelter, came across this little town we'll known as White Rags. Must have more ventured inside, looking for somebody with the capabilities of creating such weapon, such weapon that he dreamt of. Misses his twinkle nice in death, but this is a different universe. He's not even sure if they would do anything. It's odd, everyone's dressed here very funny. Let's hear it. And they say some weird things. What is it? He heard the smithing in the background, so he went up to investigate. Is this the man that will be able to make him the weapon he needs? Uh, definitely a fancy area, he thought. Is it a dragon skull? Wow. Let's talk to him. Gerland. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? It's quite a forge you got yourself here. Skyforge? Aye, my clan fathers have worked it since the first Grey Maid. Skyforge steel is all the companions will use for good reason. Divine watch over Maybe one day he can train me to wield the likes of this Skyforge steel. I'm still skeptical how it will keep up with something like facing death. 
What do you think? Fritz wasn't sure where to go from here. He thought maybe he would check the call board to see if maybe he can get some money afford such a weapon and find his way home. In Dritz's search for new weapons, he arrived back at Whiterun. He headed up to the Capitol building to speak with the Jarl. Apparently, there's some kind of dragons on the loose. He arrived at Dragon's Reach. Upon entering the building, he saw all kinds of cool armors. All kinds of stewards, maids helping out, keeping the place tidy, as well as a huge dragon, the remains for one anyway, strung up by the ceiling. Maybe this is why he's here. He headed up to talk to the Jarl, Jarl in the midst Falcon of a conversation about dragons. Well, I trust you have something vital. By Isir, Irileth was right. What do you say now? The Jarl has gifted us some studded armor. Nice touch, but not what we're looking for. So we headed over to the wizard. Apparently there's some kind of dungeon with an ancient tablet that they're looking for. It has something to do with the dragons. This wizard also taught us some new spells. Some weak ones, but at least it'll give us something to learn. Ritz had it to practice some of his new spells on some dummies. Ice wave, a blast of many icicles, a singular strong ice spike. He also has a blast of cold air, using icicles that enemies would stumble upon, as well as a healing spell to take care of his companions. Guinevar liked that one. With his newfound power. He continued on with his so called Leak Falls Barrow. Dritz arrived in Riverwood. Up the mountain he went, finding this lost treasure that this wizard seeked. It was a stormy night, but that would not stop Dritz on his hunt for such power equivalent to what he once had. He arrived at a small watchtower. And as he tried to pass, you, back off. looks like some kind of guards were challenging him. So he challenged back. He wanted to try out his new spells anyways. So he conjured a huge ice spike and took out the, took out the enemies. Quick work of him, huh? Ritz arrived at this infamous Bleak Falls Barrow. Full of thugs, thieves, and all kinds of skeletal warriors. This should also house the Golden Claw that the Riverward traders spoke about. Prince wielded his boring magic with great power by spiking each individual that came across him. Battled this lizard creature. A mean hit. But not mean enough. And like that, Dritz and his team dispatched all the bandits. Good work, guys. Dritz ventured on into this chamber. <laughs> That's a big boy. Great precision. Fritz took down this unwieldingly guardian. We're not alone. 
was then ambushed by a group of bandits. Maybe they're here for the same thing. one of these bandits it must have been stolen but now it would be put to good use just here's another bandit sounding person in the background and spiders Big spider. Chris took the spider on with no mercy. Chris dispatched that spider. Just another one of the foes fallen victim to his wrath. Found another person. But this time, he was wrapped up in the webs of these monster spiders. You did it. You killed him. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door, the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. He says there's some strange, monstrous power here. Sweet breath of arcane. Thank you. So, we offer to help him. And more spiders lay in his wake. Quickly dispatch them with our newfound powers. Oh, he's running! Yeah, we'll catch up to him. When we do. He's going to be sorry. A trap. More of those undead creatures. These foes move strong. Vigorous roots, wielding great axes. tried to freeze him, but to no avail. So he took to the swords. Maybe he can cut their weak limbs out from under them. But they were very strong. Dritz, mortal armor could not bear the weight of these creatures. One by one. Took him down. One by one, slash after slash. The second one's dead. We got one left. Fritz and his lovely companion walked through the gates of an ambush, took out every single one. came across this door with markings on it, but I remembered a certain claw had the same markings. The markings that Thief spoke about. Maybe he can try to match them up with the door. Maybe this was a secret key. So that's what he tried. Finally, he inserted the claw. And the door started to open. Now, finally to find that stone. I saw some weird magical effects coming from this strange monolith. An immense power radiating from it. But he absorbed it. He's not sure what to think. The next thing you know, a large enemy approaches the chieftain. 
lose him back. One of our charges in after him. Guinevar takes him down, and there lies the Dragonstone. Battle Axe of the Cold. It's brought back memories of his old weapons. Soon he'll be reunited. Inspected the chest. Lots of goodies. Found a great sword. Looked to be ripped out of a dragon. He definitely had to try this out. This thing was huge, he thought. This must have been a great foe. Great feat of strength to accomplish. Ripping something such crazy out of an animal. He saved it for later. Grabbed the rest of the items. And left for the city. To return to Dragonstone. After exiting the cave, came back to Riverwood to visit the blacksmith and to return the Golden Claw. The trader was ecstatic to have his memorable claw back. He even gave us a discount on some of his prices and to take some of his supplies. Ritz returned to Dragon Reach to give the Dragonstone to the wizard. The wizard was surprised at our capabilities and that we survived his so-called challenge. The Jarl's bodyguard comes running after talking with the wizard, telling us that there's a dragon on the loose nearby. After chatting with the Jarl and his assistants, they tasked us with taking out the dragon. Finally, something of a worthy fight. We to the watchtower to look for this dragon. We stumbled upon these cat people? He wasn't so sure about them, but they were very kind and hospitable, so he traded with them, bought a new bow. His goal is to break down this bow, learn about its properties, and apply it to his weapons. Hopefully bring back some of the features of his icing death and twinkle. Onward, he marched to the watchtower, he gathered with the guardsmen of Whiterun. And the Jarl's protector. Looks like the watchtower was attacked recently. Everything is on fire. So dragons are real. The roar is echoed. Ritz stoned his bow. I'm gonna be able to reach the dragon from here. If he lands. Dawn's his new weapon. He slashes. He swings. Makes the dragon bleed. Good. That means he can kill it. Charges once more. Doing a backhand attack. Dragon rains down fireballs from above. He lands once more. So he charges. He almost got us there. Dragons becoming weak. We attack the dragon ferociously from his belly. Do as much as we can. He struggles to attack us back. But we're low. The fire is burning. But we're going for one last strike. And we take him out. The dragon crumbles beneath us. We are victorious. But the dragon starts to fade. Burn away almost. And it's not from the fire. As we absorb some kind of power, we feel stronger. The thunders chant as we grow stronger. 
What is this sorcery? The guards come up. You are dragonborn. He says we're dragonborn. He challenges us to shout like a dragon. So we give it a shot. We shout, almost blowing the guard's armor off. Wow, what is this power? Is this why we're here? After slaying the dragon, we head back to the dragon's reach to tell the Jarl of our victory. As we return to Whiterun and Stables, entering the main gate, we hear a large crackle and voices shouting. Could be nothing, but that was very odd. We return to the Jarl. He's been waiting. expecting my presence. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. Told the Jarl about our success versus the dragon. And that I have found this new power within me. And he seems to have some expertise on this matter. Jarl gives us a so medal of honor defense. for slaying this dragon. Yes, my lord. And grants us the title of Thane. A prestigious title. Only one could acquire by such tremendous Maybe deeds. But this... The steward here... Questions our ability. He best to keep that to himself next time. Or he'll know firsthand of what we're capable of, whether you're dragonborn or not. On his way to High Rothgard to see the Greybeards, Dritz came across a wasteland of bodies. Battlefield between two factions, one reigning victor over the other, and leaving bodies in their wake. He took some of the gear he found for himself. They didn't look like they would need it anymore, and made his way back onto the path of the Greybeards. Fritz arrived at the bottom of the mountain, and so this began his trek up the 7,000 steps to High Hrothgar. On his way up, he ran into a group of bandits. Nothing he couldn't take down. But then, a monstrous creature emerges, one-tapping these bandits. There's a troll, a frost troll. So he turned and stabbed them in the back many times over while he was distracted. And they took him down together. Amongst all the ambushes, the wolves, the trolls, the bandits. Dritz made it to High Hrothgar, where he deposited a stash for a fellow townsfolk. They swiftly ran to see the new Dragonborn. So, a Dragonborn appeared at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. One of the Greybeards wanted to hear my power. I must and knock him off his feet. And that's just the beginning. Welcome to High the Greybeards have taught me a new part of this shout and are asking me to demonstrate my power. Luckily, Guinevar is immune to such capabilities. The Greybeards have taught me a new word of power to my shout, as well as a new shout entirely. And they have confirmed my suspicion. I have been teleported here because of the dragons and gained the power of Dragonborn. Thus, to slay the dragons and retake back Tamriel, hopefully learn how to teleport back home.